Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss last two questions from specimen P probability and statistics. One that is paper five, and here is the question number six. A group of eight friends travels to the airport in two taxis P and Q. Each taxi can take four passengers. A part is that eight friends divides divide themselves into two groups of four. One group for taxi P and one group for taxi Q with John and Sarah traveling in the same taxi. Find the number of different ways in which this can be done. So the condition is John and Sarah traveling in the same taxi and there are two taxis with four places in that. So it can be like uh, John and Sarah can travel in P or in Q together so it's like it can be done in two ways like that so for instance if both are John and Sarah are in taxi P then the two places are filled and for the rest two places we can choose two person out of six and of course the remaining four would fix here and we can choose them in 4c4 ways so these are the total ways different ways in which they can be this can be done so we will calculate this it is going to be 2 into 6 factorial 6c2 is 15 multiplied by 4c4 that is 1 and hence there are 30 ways in which john and sarah can travel in the same taxi uh, while uh, uh, when others are traveling in other taxi and two of them are in the same taxi where John and Sarah are. I hope it is clear. Let's discuss the B part. Now we have another situation. Taxi P and taxi Q. Each taxi can take one passenger in the front, three passengers in the back. We can see in the diagram. Mark sits in the tax front of the taxi P. Means this position is filled and John and Sarah sit in the back of taxi P next to each other. So if they are going to sit next to each other it means either they will sit here or here. It can be done in two ways. Now we need to find the number of different sitting arrangements that are now possible for eight friends. So once they got the place let's say uh, among these two if they got the place they can replace they can change their place like john is sitting here and sarah is sitting here so for these two places even sarah can sit here and john can sit here so it can be done in two ways and now mark john and sarah they are fixed so we have one place to arrange and we can do by the other eight the other like remaining five passengers so we have to choose one passenger for that place that is that can be done in 5c1 ways and once these are done then we are going to multiply by the total arrangement for taxi q so there are four people remaining four passengers and we are going to arrange them in at in this four places so it can be done in 4p four ways so this is the total number of different sitting arrangements so we'll calculate 2 into 2 into 5c1 is 5 multiplied by 4p4 that is 4 factorial upon 4 minus 4 is 0 factorial so 4 factorial is 6 into 4 24 and it become 5 2 is a 10 4 24 into 2 is 48 so 48 into 10 that is 480 so there are total 480 different sitting arrangements there that is possible for these eight friends i hope it is clear let's discuss the next part and let's discuss the last question that is seventh one bag a contains four balls number two four five eight Bag B contains five balls numbered one, three, six, eight, eight. Bag C contains seven balls numbered two, seven, 
4 times 8 and 9. One ball, only one ball is selected at random from each bag. So first event X is exactly two of the selected balls have the same number. Y event is the ball selected from bag A has number 4. So we need to find the probability of first part, probability of X, event X. So we need to find the total uh, cases, total uh, thing for this uh, event X, exactly two of the selected ball have the same number. So one ball is selected at random, random from each bag. So exactly two of the selected balls have the same number is going to be 8. Suppose it is from A bag and then B bag and it is C. So exactly 2, if I am taking 2 from the first one, then it can be no 2 from B because it's not there. So from C bag we can have a 2. Uh, and then for 4 it is not possible because only A ball A can back contain 4 and then for 5 uh, again it is not possible so only another possibility is 8 so first one if I am taking bag A contains 8 and then bag B contains 8 so at that time there should not be 8 from the bag C uh, or it can be like 8 from bag A and not from bag B but from bag C it is 8 so again exactly two times same number and the last one if it is not from bag A and from bag B it is 8 and bag C it is 8 so these are the possibilities so we will calculate this probability now so for this first of all we'll write this corresponding probabilities so we can see from bag A the probability of getting 2 is going to be there there is only 1 2 out of 4 so it would be 1 over 4 and from bag B it is not 2 means of course it is not 2 so the probability would be 1 because not 2 it is never going to be 2 so probability of uh, not getting 2 means anything other than 2 anything means a 1 through 3 6 8 8 so anything can be possible but 1 will not 2 will not be there so it's like uh, probability is uh, 1 it's like it is always possible event like if we get any number bag ball from this bag b it will never be two so it is going to be one this probability is it's like a certain event that it will it will not be a two so that's why it is one and getting the probability getting the number ball two from ball uh, from bag c it is going to be there is only one bag uh, one ball two and over total ball seven so it become one over 28 for this case we have to see like getting 8 from a is 1 over 4 getting 8 from bag b is 2 over 5 because there are 2 8 and getting not 8 from bag c it is going to be either 2 7 9 so 3 over 7 so this probability is going to be 6 over 4 5 is 20 so into 7 is 140 and for this case getting 8 8 from a is 1 over 4 not from bag b means 3 these 3 3 over 5 and getting 8 from c ball bag is 4 over 7 because there are 4 8 so again it is going to be 3 4 is a 12 over 140 and the last one not getting 8 is from bag A is going to be 3 over 4 multiplied by getting 8 from bag B is 2 over 5 we have seen already and the last one is 4 over 7. 
so it is going to be 3 to the 6 for the 24 over 140 so we'll add them all to get the total probability in order to do that i will multiply and divide this first probability by 5 and 5 so that we can get the same number throughout as a denominator so it is 140 so total probability probability of getting x this event is 5 6 11 12 23 4 27 plus 20 is 47 over 140 and that's the probability of getting x i hope it is clear let's discuss the next part of it and here is the b part find probability of x intersection y and hence determine whether or not events x and y are independent so first of all we'll calculate this and in order to de decide whether it is in they are independent or not we'll use this property that probability of x intersection y should be equals to probability of x multiplied by probability of y if it is true then it they are independent otherwise they are not independent so let me bring the x and y event and the cases of the bags so here is the event x exactly two of the selected balls are uh, have the same number event y is the ball selected from bag a has number four so we'll see what are the intersection of it if we inter find the intersection of it the case would be like two balls are of the same color as well as the bag a gives four so we can see that we require four from bag a and other two are the are of same color so it is only possible for it because if it is two from bag a then event y will not be uh, satisfying and otherwise four and five are already not there so it means x intersection y means from bag a it is four from bag b it is eight and from bag c it should be eight otherwise the event x will not be satisfied because exactly two of the selected balls have the same cut number so bag b and bag c must have eight uh, now we are going to find the probability so the probability of x intersection y would be getting 4 from a is 1 by 4 multiplied by getting b from 8 uh, getting 8 from b is 2 by 5 and getting 8 from c is 4 over 7 and that is 8 over or we can cancel it because we don't have to add here so 4 4 got cancelled and we got 2 over 5 7 or 35 so it is 2 over 35 now we will calculate the probability of y because we have from the first part only what is the probability of x and from the first part we have seen this probability is 47 over 140 now we'll calculate probability of y so probability of y for event y we have ball selected from bag a has number four and other two bags can give any value so it means we don't have to even look at it what are the balls they are going to uh, which numbers are going to be there so we only have to find about probability of getting four a uh, number four ball from bag a and that is going to be probability of getting four from bag a and that is one over four now we will check for probability of x multiplied by probability of y and it is 47 over 140 multiplied by one over four and this is not equal to 2 over 35 which is probability of x intersection y and hence x and y are not independent because 
because if they are they would have been independent then it, this relation will satisfy this probability of intersection would be the probability of x into probability of y which is not true so that's it let's discuss the last part of this question and here is the last part find the probability that two balls are numbered 2 given that exactly two of the selected balls have the same number so it's a conditional probability getting the probability of 2 we need to find the probability of 2 two balls are number 2 given that given that exactly exactly and it means we need to find the probability of getting two balls are number two given that it is x because x was exactly two of the balls selected balls are of the same number so it means we need to find the probability of getting two number two balls are of our number two intersection with x over probability of x and if we see the meaning of two intersection two balls are of number two intersection with x so it means this is the case when we take the two from a bag and of course there is no two from bag b so it is not two and the third bag contains two so this is the only case when we can have the exactly two balls are number two as well as two balls are selected have the same number upon probability of x so we have we have one two in a bag so it is one over four and multiplied by not two from bag b and we have seen there are no two in bag b so it is certain event that we'll never get two from bag b so it is one and the last one and though we have calculated this in the first part a e part only but it's fine that and getting two is one over seven from bag c because there were only one ball number two and the probability of x from the first part was 47 over 140 so we will calculate this it is 1 over 28 multiplied by this will go in numerator 140 over 47 this is 7 fours are and 7 twos are 4 ones are 4 5 and hence this probability is 5 over 47 we can write its uh, corresponding decimal values as well but that's fine I hope it is clear and that's it for this video we'll meet again in the next video till then thank you so much